Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial where I'll be showing you how to interact and extract data from public APIs in Python. If you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Raheel. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you do enjoy the content you see today. Let's get straight into the video. So in Python, we actually have a few ways we can interact with APIs, but the first way and the most common way is with using the request module. So you just want to type into your terminal or command and install the request module. So that would be pip install requests. That would be essentially allow us to make HTTP requests to our public APIs that we want to access. Then we'll import those requests by just doing import requests. But we're only going to be using one function today in there. Ideally, you'd be using a lot if you're making your own API like put or post requests. But right now, we're only going to be um, collecting data from those public APIs. So what we'll do is we'll do from requests import get. So get is going to be the where we get the data from. We're going to be getting the data from a specific URL. And then we're essentially going to take that URL and form it as a response. So we're going to query that web page and see what it returns to us. What it's going to return to us is going to be one of many status codes. You may have heard of the 404 status code, which is not found. The web page was not found, but there's plenty of status codes to look over. The one we're going to be looking at today is the 200 status code, which just means that everything is okay. In this case, it will be. So we'll just make sure to assign a response. That will be the status code I was talking about. And we are going to get that response from a web page. So let's go to the web page we want to get that response from. So the page we're going to be using is quite meta in itself. It's going to be the public API for public APIs. It's essentially just a list of APIs that are compatible with HTTPS or cores or whatever one you want to do. And the URL is api.publicapis.org. So the way to actually access all of the entries or to do slash entries at the end of the URL. You can see that I actually have a JSON plugin that essentially makes all this look really pretty for you guys. Uh, but essentially, it's just what, this is what's going to show in our Python code. JSON is, of course, just dictionaries in Python. So that's going to be interpolated into dictionaries. I'll show you how to do that. So now we know our URL. Let's just copy and paste that into our link. And we'll want to say get link. Now let's print that response and see what we get. We should get response OK 200. Let's see. And you can see it took a second, but it says response 200, which is good. But of course, it isn't actually useful to us at all. We actually want to get the data from the web page. Like I said, we want to convert that data or that response into a JSON request that can be read as a Python dictionary. So we'll convert into JSON by putting response.json. JSON is the function to actually interpolate that data into a JSON request. So you can see that it's all printed out here. It's not very pretty, of course. I'll actually make this page a little bigger for you guys. There you go. So you can see there's lots and lots of APIs, and this is just going to be our J JSON data. Of course, we probably want to narrow down exactly which items we want, or in this case, which public APIs we want to query. In that case, we'll actually create a parameters variable. So I'll assign parameters, and this is actually going to be a dictionary. Let's just say I want all APIs matching with the title dogs, or dog, let's just make it dog. Now we want to apply that parameter to the response. Essentially, if you want to supply the parameter yourself in the in the actual URL, you just put a question mark saying, what's the parameter name? And of course, we want to say title. And what is it equal to? We want to say doc. So this is actually how you would put it in in the URL. And you'll see we'll get the response from, uh, you'll see right now. But for our purposes, we're actually just going to put params as parameters and assign that to our parameters variable. Now let's see what that returns us. You can see that all of this, all these titles are related to dogs, random dog facts and everything. So now you ask, okay, Raheel, thanks so much. You've already shown that we can do this in our web browser. How do we interact with this in Python? How do we actually use this data and extract it? Let me show you how to do it. So we're actually going to iterate over each object in a response. So of course, we want to iterate over each entry. So we'll do for entry in response.json and right now we'll just print that entry right on its own line now what we get here aren't actually entries you can see it's count and then we actually have an entries variable if we want to actually get the entries you might notice that when we actually queried all of our entries in the api you'll see that we have a count of how many entries it returned and the actual entries that we see so we actually want to get the entries and how we'll do that is we'll go back to the terminal right here and we'll simply put entries at the end of this just like how you access different variables in dictionaries, we just want to access the entry specifically. If we just want to access the count, we could do that as well. But you can see this just returns our entries. Awesome. Now to actually access the different data in those entries. 
To do that, of course, we'll use the exact same method we used when we were just accessing the entries themselves. We'll just print the name of the entry. In that case, that will actually be highlighted as API as the title. You can see here, dog meme, top meme post from r slash dogecoin, right? The actual title of the public API is called doge meme. So we'll use that right here. And you can see that it says dog facts, dogs, place dogs. So these are six APIs relating to dogs that have dog in their name. And all of it is just the title. Now, if we want to see which ones had HTTPS enabled, we could just put HTTPS and of course that would return a true or false. And there you go. All of them do have HTTPS enabled because otherwise we wouldn't be able to access it within Python. So that is just one way you can actually access data from an API in Python. Of course, there's many other methods you can call like put or post. A post request simply adds data and a put request manipulates existing data. But of course, those are a little more on the advanced end. You actually have to have your own API or an API token to work with put or post requests. For now, this is how you access data from APIs and you can use that instead of going through entire databases to do web scraping, you could do this simple process. If you did enjoy this video, like I said, be sure to hit that subscribe button and like as well. If there is anything at all I missed in this video, be sure to comment down below as well. I'd love to hear your suggestions. That's all for me. Have a great rest of your day.